everyone. I am Jenna Anthony and this is Apple Dolly Creations. Let me know you're here. So what we're making today is um, we're taking a tin can and some burlap and we're going to make a little crow sitter. So um, this is the crow. We're going to paint him black. Now, this is the one we're going to finish. But I just have a heavyweight cotton here. And I'm going to trace it. And I have it doubled because you want two pieces. I have it doubled. And I'm just going to trace this on with a pencil. And then I'm going to just cut it out. Now, if you want this pattern, uh, say me in the comments. And I will send it over to you. It's just a black row. And I'm just going to cut it out. We're going to glue it together. And I forgot to get my glue gun. And we're going to paint this. You can use, um, in this instant, you can use a piece of cardboard instead of fabric. You can use muslin. I forgot to grab my, of all things, glue gun. Can't craft without a glue gun, right? <laughs> I can't anyway. So let me get him plugged in, and it can be heating up while we paint this. Okay, so what I have is just, I got this at Dollar Tree, and this is just a, um, a tempera paint. Now, I like using tempera paint on fabric because it gives it that worn look when it's dry. Now, if you just have acrylic paint, go ahead and use that. Um, it's hot today. I'm taking these off. Go ahead and use your um, acrylic paint. And then when it's totally dry, it has to be totally dry. Just take a piece of sandpaper over it, and then you get this worn look. Okay? Now, in, in here, I have it upside down. I have put a little bit of Mod Podge because when it dries, it's stiff. And that's what we want, a stiff bird. See how it's holding up? Now, this is muslin, and it's very stiff. That's why I added the um, Mod Podge in there. And just I just put a little tiny squirt of it in there. So we're going to turn our bir birds like this, and we're going to paint them. Now, if I if this bottle was full of paint, I would put this on um, the paint on something and mix the Mod Podge in it. But there's just a little bit left in that bottle, so that's why I did it that way. And we're just going to paint paint these. We're going to sit them aside and let them dry because I already have one done for us. I tried to load this. Um, do this video yesterday and for some reason nothing was functioning <laughs> so I thought well I'll just redo it today hi Rose so see we got both sides you only have to paint one side of the bird because when he is dry, you glue the two halves together. And I cannot paint without getting paint all over me. Always. Thank goodness for baby wipes. Okay. 
So here they are. They're both painted. When they dry, we're going to turn two sides together and then hot glue them together. And this is what we have. Now this one is sewn only because I was making these for another project uh, that I wanted to stuff. But this one I am not stuffing. We also need a either a bamboo skewer, a dowel rod, something like that, that we're also going to paint. And I'm just going to paint it black also. And we don't need this whole dowel rod. Let me get a, a skewer. That's too big. Okay, bamboo skewer is better than a dowel rod. I thought I had a whole bunch of those sitting here. They're probably sitting right in front of me and I don't see them. Did you ever do that? <laughs> okay. Now these, I just picked a whole pack of these up at Dollar Tree. I always have uh, bamboo skewers in my stash. So we're going to set this aside and let it, let it dry. And set these aside, let them dry. And we're going on with our dried bird. Now, when I glued, when you glue these together, hi Kim, leave a tiny little opening right where the, the belly of the bird starts to straighten out. Leave a little bit of opening there because that's where our um, skewer is going to go. Okay? Yep, that's heated. So I just have a can and I stuffed it with brown paper. That's just to fill up some of the space. Um, you can use packing peanuts, a piece of uh, styrofoam, whatever. Just enough to take up some space. And I'm going to take this burlap and I'm going to wrap this can in it. Measure this out and cut it. Now I want this burlap to be a little taller than the can. Because we don't want the can to lift the show, so we're going to fold this inside. So it, it's okay if it just goes to the bottom, but you want it to overlap the top. And we're just going to glue this on. Now this burlap, it's called burlap fabric that I'm using, and I picked it up at Dollar, or Dollar Tree, um, Hobby Lobby. And uh, it was on sale. Online, it was on sale, not in the store. Um, Hobby Lobby has sales online and things a lot cheaper sometimes online than the store. And since my store is still not recovered from the tornado we had, um, I've been ordering everything online. Another place that does that a lot is Joanne Fabrics. They will have online sales a lot cheaper than what you can get it in the store for. So I'm not quite sure why they do that, but and I'm just rolling this to make sure that the glue and the burlap is all meshed together. Because I can get muslin a lot cheaper through um, Joann's online than I can anywhere else. And I'm just trimming this a little bit on the bottom. So I'm going to glue this burlap around and I'm just going to fold it right over top of the lip of the can. Take some of this paper out so it's not in my way. So I just had a bunch of little pieces of brown paper that I used. Now, um, two videos ago, we made an Americana teddy bear. 
And on that video, we made some flat. We took paper napkins and made flags. And this is one of them. So what this is, is a piece of fabric. And this is just a white cotton fabric I used. And Dollar Tree napkin. And I cut a portion of the blue, the flags, or the stars out. And a portion of the stripes. Just to make a little flag. And I used tinted Mod Podge and it was tinted with grunge and I put it together on top of this white fabric this white cotton and this is what we have so this is what we're going to use this last one up that we made on those videos so if you go back to the Americana teddy bear you will see the whole process of doing this so I'm going to glue this right to the front of my can So you can say we have an Americana crow. <laughs> Be careful I don't burn myself. I always get myself, every time I plug this glue gun in, I end up with a burn. And I'm going to roll that too, just to make sure that that flag is on there good. And it went on a little crooked. Let me straighten it. There we go. So it's on there. And this burlap is so porous. There's such a weave in it that that glue just goes right down into that. So that's what we've got. I took this big sunflower. I got this at Dollar Tree. And I took the grunge, coffee grunge that we use. And I went over this whole sunflower because it was a really bright yellow. And with the burlap, it was too yellow, too bright. So to tone that down, I just grunged it. I took it all apart, grunged it, let it dry, and then I put it back together. So this is what we're using. And right where the bottom of the stem is, I'm going to bend this. So it's looking like this. And we're going to glue this down inside of our can. Straighten this out. I want it to be in there straight. So we're just going to stick this down in there. And I'm going to hold it just for a second and let this glue catch on that paper. We're going to use some Spanish moss and cover the top of that. I'm just taking it from another can I did because it's not in here. I forgot to grab it. I thought I was pre all prepared, everything on my table. So we just want just the top of the can, just to cover that paper and give it a nice look. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue just to hold that Spanish moss. We're going to take our crow and that little opening that we left. If I can get it open now. There we go. I was pulling at the wrong area. And we're going to take this uh, skewer that we painted and glue it inside. So we're going to have to cut this skewer down because it is a little too big. And we're just going to push it in there just till it reaches the top. And now at this point, you can have your skewer angle so that your bird sits any way you want, up and down. I like them at an angle like this. And I'm just going to pinch this closed because the glue in there, it'll hold it. I have glue strings, of course. Okay. Now we're going to 
Now this is way too big. Now you can have it bigger than your flower, taller, but I want it just right in front of the sunflower. So I'm going to cut, I'm measuring this right where I want the bird to sit. And I'm going to cut the bottom of this, or just break it off is what I'm going to do. And we're going to glue him right in front. So that's the way it's going to look. See that? Now you can stuff this if you want. Uh, I just find for something like this, flat is okay. Now you can glue him directly to the, um, the flower if you want, if you like that look. The skewer wasn't totally dry yet. This is just a quick project. You can put it on a shelf, on a tiered tray. And let's get all this moved around to the front so it's with the flag. There we go. They were on the side and the flag's in the front. That's what happens when you work on things backwards. There we go. So what do you think? Hi, Danielle. Just a quick little project. Look how fast that was. I just think these would be nice as favors because what do I have in this? $2? And the can is a throwaway, right? And we use very little Spanish moss. So one bag of Spanish moss from Dollar Tree would go far. A little bit of fabric. You can use cardboard. And if you want this crow pattern, Say me, and I will message it to you. And a Dollar Tree flower, and there was like four of these on a bunch. So we have less than $2 in this little project. And this napkin, there was four of these. Big, they were a lot bigger. We cut them down. And it was on um, not the last project, the project before, the Americana teddy bear. And a, just a piece of plastic or a piece of fabric and we mod podged it onto the fabric and made that flag. So be cute on a shelf. If you use stacked books in your decor, it'd be cute sitting on top. It's something, just a little Americana. I've been working with crows, so I thought I would bring one on here. A little bit of burlap. Now you can use paper to cover this if you're doing favors. So there you go. And if you're doing favors at one of your farm stores, you can get a burlap bag for like $2 and you get a lot out of a burlap bag. So there's just a hint if you want burlap. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think. Would you make this? Do you like it? I love this flower behind the, the crow. Okay, you guys have a great day. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, all of you are important. Love ya.